Welcome to the series of Google Cloud Tutorials and today we are going to learn about how to deploy uh, Docker image on Google Cloud. Since we will be deploying it on Google Cloud, so we will be needing Kubernetes. So it's kind of combination of Docker plus Google Cloud plus Kubernetes. And in this scenario, in this uh, tutorial, we will be using Docker Hub to push up our images. And so let's get started. So first we'll make a project. So my project name is GCP Kubernetes Docker as I already created. Now the second step is to enable the API. For that we'll go to API in services dashboard. Enable APIs and search for container engine. Now we, have seen, we can see the Kubernetes engine API. We'll make it enable. So in this tutorial, we will be using Docker Hub to push our images onto uh, Docker Hub. So we need to create an account for that. Now we need to push. Let's first see what we have created. So we have created a project, GC, a Spring Boot GCP project. And so here we have created a uh, API get name, which will be written some string based on the name what we are passing. Now let's see the Docker file what we have in that. So we have created a file docker file. So we have using from open JDK. So since JDK is depreciated deprecated now, so we will be using open JDK 8. Add tells about from where it needs to pick the jar file. And we will be using 8080. We are gonna expose this API or uh, this application on port 8080. So that's why we mentioned export 8080. And the entry point to trigger any trigger this application would be java jar and the uh, project name you can use anything any name let's open the docker terminal first and now we will be opening google cloud sdk reach to the project directory so let's see which current project we are project id we are referring to for that we would be using command g cloud config list so right now the current project is my joker 3 which is not my current project so let's make it to Let's initialize it and make GCP Kubernetes Docker as my current project. I need to select the region. So let me select the region. Yes. Now if the config list you can see the project name GCP Kubernetes Docker which is my current project. Let's see how, how many images we have right now. Okay, before that, let's see how many components we, we are going to use it and what are the components installed. So in this case, we need Kubernetes, kubectl, but as I already installed, so it's showing me install. If it's not installed, then we will be using the command which is displaying here, like uh, gcloud component install and the uh, component ID. So if it, it's not installed, so it would be gcloud component install kubectl. So now let's build a docker image. For that we were using docker build minus t minus t refers to the tagging and the name of image. So since I will be using India Rocks, that which is my uh, docker repository. After that we will be using gcp kubernetes docker 
and v1 is our version number so once we once we push our changes here or docker image here we can see uh, a new image would be here right now we are not seeing an image here but it would be here once we push our changes so we can see successfully tagged india logs gcp component so as the docker image is created so we can see gcp kubernetes docker So since the image is created now, let's push docker image onto docker hub. So we will be using docker push the image name yeah. and version which version we are a push yeah now if you see the push refers to the repository now if you see the push refers to repository docker.io.indialogs gcp kubernetes docker so by default when we uh, this docker.io we haven't give it anywhere so by default we append it into the url now as the docker image has been pushed let's see on docker hub yes we can see today image uh, push that image into docker hub now we are going to use to we are going to create a container for that we will be writing gcloud container and again it asking for some sub parameters so we will be passing since we need to create clusters so we would be using gcloud container clusters So again it is asking for some parameters so we would be passing we need to create a cluster so it's like command would be g cloud containers clusters create and the cluster name it is again asking for some parameters so we would be passing g cloud container clusters and then what we need to do is like either we need to create, delete, or upgrade any cluster. So we we need to create a cluster. Now the cluster name would be required. Let's say the cluster name is Cube uh, Cube Cluster. Yeah. It is giving me some warnings. You can ignore it right now. It will take a couple of sec uh, couple of minutes to create a cluster from three to five minutes. Now we can see the cluster has been created. So let's see on the console itself. Go to Kubernetes engine. There we go. So we can see the code cluster which we have created. Now so far we have. Uh, Build an image, build an image, uh, deploy, uh, push the image into Docker Hub, create a cluster, but we haven't run the cluster yet. So let's first run the cluster. For that, we would be using kubectl run image, the name of image. GCP Kubernetes and Docker and we also need to mention which port we want to run it so it would be like port 8080 we want to run it oh we need to mention the cluster name as well here yeah. so kubectl1 cluster name so the syntax would be kubectl run cluster name then image name then port oh something goes wrong oh yeah we need to use equal sign rather than column now we can see that uh, group cluster has been created and running but it won't work until we expose it to the external world 
for that we will be using command group city deployment and cluster name and we need to mention and we need to mention the type that is equal to load balancer Now we can see the service group cluster exposed. We can see the external IPs and other details by, by the command group cluster. Now it should be group CTL. Group CTL get services and the cluster name. Now we can see the external IP. Now to test the application, copy the external IP. Because since everything is inside the container, so we can't access it directly. We need an external IP name and the parameter which we are passing any name. So let pass my name. There we go. We can see the output. Thanks for watching.